last example. EC bisects AD. Okay, look at EC bisects AD. Okay, that means EC is the one that's doing the bisecting, and AD is the one that got bisected. That means AD is the one that got cut in half at C. That means this whole thing, AC and CD, are um, congruent. EF, oh, EF bisects, okay, this is supposed to be a line. And this is, let's make this F right here. That means line EF bisects AC at B. That means AC is bisected, right? B is the midpoint. For each, find the value of X and the measure of the segment. Okay, so that means AC and CD is the same. And then AB and BC is the same. Okay. AB equals 3x plus 6. BC equals 2x plus 14. They want you to find AC. So, um, again, AB and BC, right? They're, they have the same measure. So I can just make them equal to each other. Equals 2x plus 14. Okay. So subtract the 2x over here. Subtract the 6 over there. So you get 8. Um, and then, so to find the value of x and the measure of the segment. So this segment right here, AC. AC is AB plus BC, right? Or it's just AB times 2 because it's double. So AC, here's my x, and AC um, equals, well, I have to find AB first. So AB, or you can find BC, it doesn't matter. AB is uh, 3 times 8 plus 6, that's 24, that's 30, right? 24 plus 6 is 30, and then so AC is double that, so AC is 60, okay? So AB is, this is 30, that means AC is 60. Okay, AD, the whole thing is 6x minus 4. AC is 4x minus 3. And you have to find CD. Now remember how um, EC bisected AD? That means AD is cut in half. C is the midpoint. So AD, the whole thing is 6x minus 4. And then AC is 4x minus 3. I can do this two ways. I can make, if AC is 4x minus 3, that means DC or CD is 4x minus 3. So I can just do 4x minus 3 plus 4x minus 3, or you can do 4x minus 3 times 2, or you can do the whole thing AD is 6x minus 4 minus this one, okay? So I'm just going to do... 2 times 4x minus 3, okay, because AC is uh, 4x minus 3, and um, AD is um, double that. Now, even though this is 60, so you might assume that this whole thing is 120, but this is a different problem, so then it might, it's not going to have the same uh, measure. So 2 times AC equals AD, which is 6x minus 4. So, uh, if we continue it here, it's going to be 8x, and this is distributed property, right? 8x minus 6 equals 6x minus 4. Uh, this becomes 2x. If you add the 6 over there, equals 2. x equals 1. Okay, so then here's the x value, and then they want you to find... CD, this right here. Uh, since CD is the same thing as AC, I can just find AC, right? So AC is 4 times 
1 minus 3. So AC is 4 minus 3 is 1. So CD is 1. Okay. AC is 1, CD is 1. Okay. The last one, AD, the whole thing is 5x plus 2, and BC is 7 minus 2x. Uh, find CD. Okay. Now this one's a little bit, a um, little bit harder because they give you AD, the whole thing, and they give you BC. Now remember if this, if C is the midpoint of AD, right? That means this whole thing and this whole thing is the same. So let's go back, let's look at this number right here. So if this is 60, then this will also be 60, right? That means the whole thing together is going to be 120, right? Then this right here is 30. This right here is 30, right? So it's as if you um, fold, you take a piece of paper, you fold it in half, right? If you fold it in half, that's like getting your C, your midpoint. Then you take that paper and you fold it in half again. So then that's when you get point B. So now your paper is folded into how many parts? One, two, three, four, right? Three, four. So one of these AB, if you compare AB or let's say BC to the whole thing AD, then this is a fourth of the whole thing. So this into four parts becomes the whole thing. So you can take BC and multiply it by four because this is one part, two, three, four, right? So BC times 4, so 7 minus 2x times it by 4, and you get the whole thing AD. So this is 28 minus 8x equals 5x plus 2. Okay. So I'm going to um, subtract the 2 over, then I get 26. I'm going to add the 8x over, and I get 13x. So x is 2. And then find CD. CD. CD was um, two times BC, right? Because BC with another BC is going to equal CD. So I'm just going to find BC. 7 minus 2 times 2. Just plug in X. So 7 minus 4 is 3. So if BC is 3, now these numbers right here, I just use that as an, that was actually for number one. Those are, those are the values for number one. And then I just used it as an example for number three. Okay, but don't think that these are the actual values. 30 uh, for BC and then 124, the whole thing. Okay, this is a, a different problem. So BC was three. Then what's CD? CD is two times BC, right? It's double BC. So CD is 6. Okay. Okay, well, that is it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.